Hello everyone, it's Bram Badaham and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition episode 26. In the last episode we did more exploration here on the stormy coasts. We closed uh, a fate rift that produced some really annoying demons. They were very hard to fight. And we found or we came across a mage boss. And after we took him down, which was not too hard actually, we dropped a key to a door in this house here. And we found a recipe for some sort of master potion, I guess, which really increases your uh, your damage, I believe, it deals for, uh, for a good amount of time. And let's have a look. We are warping over here. travel there. Let's get some more requisition missions. I've new, sir. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Okay, let's have a look. We have more anti-venom. We need more spider eye core. Still the tapestries we need. What do we need? Oh, we have two decorative gems. Hmm. Okay. And still that freaking crest that doesn't work. Already. Well, thanks for noticing. Now, let's go over here. And have a look what that actual Astraria means over here. Set active. Oh, wait, where's the other one then? We still have to find that one? Really? Alright. Challenge accepted. Aha! So there it is. I thought we finished this already. Apparently not. Let's do it. Let's see how difficult this one is. Um... Okay, so how do we do that? Like this. Yeah. Ha. In one go. How do you like that? Referred to as the chained man in common parlance. It's represented as a man dragging a heavy chain. God of slaves. Alrighty. Oh, that's right. It shoots right over there. So how do we get there? Can we just walk? That'd be awesome. Hey! That seemed to work actually. Doing little jumps as you slide. Hmm. Oh, crap. Oh! I'll take it, one potion. Oh! Let's not attract the attention of those guys. Aha! We explored all the regions and we got 200 influence. Brilliant. So this is how we get onto the sea. What did we find? Oh. Spin the weed. Oh, and that is... What the hell is that? It's a dragon! Dragonling! Alright, what's he vulnerable to? Look at him though. Fire resistance and cold vulnerability. Well, in that case... Oh, 
that wasn't too hard. Cool. Dragon Link. We have dragon scales. Oh yeah, look at it. Look at it. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> What's that? Is that a corpse? Ooh, ooh. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Wait, does this one have individual limbs already? Why does it say there are three dragonlings? I don't know. One down. I wonder if this is where like the dragon sits. Dragonling scale. Oh, there's more. Good looking dragons look good. We have dragon blood. They almost look like dinosaurs. Okay, bye, Kasim. Let's do it. Alrighty. Oh, geometry. Holy crap. I still did it without tutorials, but oh my lord, it was hard. Commonly referred to as the Oak, the constellation Fervanis is generally represented by a towering tree. Alrighty. Prior to the rise of the old god of worship. Others, however, believe it was originally a constellation of the elven people, specifically a depiction of Andrew, the goddess of hunt. Virtanadal, or Way of the Three Trees, is a central tenet of Andril, and something that Fervanis originally, originally represented this concept. Wow. I was sort of squinting at the screen for the last part. Let's see if, in, if there's anything else around. I've got a friend who's a ship captain. She would love this place. Wait! Does he refer to Isabella? That'd be cool. Hello down there. So there's a fate rift. And there's an Oculus thing. Let's go over there. And let's finish our business. Just for now. In the Storm Coast. Let's try to do that in this episode. Energize, maybe? Oh, a ladder.
That's right in the landmark. Awesome. More shards. One over there. One over there. And the last one is right over there on the shore. Alrighty. Now there's a landmark. And a house. Morin's Outlook. Alright. Morin uh, has a letter on his table. Which just gives... Explore the cave. Wait. Do they all point to a cave? Huh. Awesome. Potions built. Hmm. Actually, it seems like a sort of uncommon build. No, wait, it's common. It's just that I have never seen it before. Already, but let's first have a look at the fate rift down here. How do we get down there? Just jumping, sliding, doing all the things. Hold crap. Ah, oh, level 8 shades. That's actually not that bad. Uh, Solus. Barrack. Jesus. Hey, book. Where's Solus's barrier? Where are we even? They are. They're right here. Okay, Cassandra. At least you can taunt. And then we should take Barrack and shoot at the Wraith over there with a shot. And then we control Neria. That's alright. I'm so happy Friendly Fire is not on. Now let's wait till Solus is buried. We can tie our own barrier around that. Okay. Wait, we did disrupt it, right?
All right, and we have a shard. Oh, that's awesome. Is it everything on this island? I believe it was. Now, here's another shard. On the coast. Where's our first part of the camp? Right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's travel. are content to sit in the sun, never wondering what you could have been, never fighting back. Ha, you've got it all wrong, Chuckles. This is fighting back. How does passively accepting your fate constitute a fight? Uh, in that story of yours, the fisherman watching the stars dying alone, you thought he gave up, right? Yes. But he went on living. He lost everyone, but he still got up every morning. He made a life, even if it was alone. That's the world. Everything you build, it tears down. Everything you've got, it takes. And it's gone forever. The only choices you get are to lie down and die or keep going. He kept going. That's as close to beating the world as anyone gets. Well said. Perhaps I was mistaken. Alrighty, are we getting close? Are we getting close? Let's have a look. Yep. Should be about time to go back to uh, the Forbidden Oasis, maybe. Is it on the boat? No, it's not. There we go. And there is one more shark on the coast. So, with that one that we are going to ride now, we will have all the shards collected. It's right up there. Ta-da! Awesome. All the shards. 50 influence. Now let's see, to finish this episode. Here is the... Astrarium puzzle thing. So let's set that active. And let's travel here. Since it will speed up a bit. And we are healed again. Where's the enemy? Huh. It magically disappeared. That's alright. Should be to our right. Down here. Oh my god. So cool. Climb down. Please say that there's just plain treasure out here. And not more fighting and stuff. Griffin feather charm. Man, the next upgrade will definitely, with my Inquisition perk, will definitely. Ah, oh, I thought we needed a torch for that. But I guess we are a mage. Okay, so now let's see if we cast. There we Oh, Solus already does it.
What is this all about? Look at that big sort of helmet. And one loot crest. Chest. What? Oh, oh my god. Our first purple thing. A unique weapon. Awesome. Inventory is full. Well, obviously. Oops. Alrighty. Quest completed. That is what I call awesome. And we have... Oh! <gasps> yes! Three marches banner crown. And we have a staff. Which is absolutely awesome. And it deals fire damage. Which means that we can actually... Nah, n let's not get rid of our own weapon. Let's destroy this longbow. Three mover staff. Oh yeah. Staff. We cannot change. Alrighty. Now what does Solus have? I know he has a cold staff, but oh wow. 45 DPS as well. Awesome. Okay, hey, actually, that's one thing that I recognized just now. Solus does his barrier as soon as I do this. So that can be a good way to start a fight, I guess. Anything else that I miss here? Look at this. Looks brilliant. Oh my god, this looks like the... Oh, I forgot how it's called. It's the Ancient Shard Gunlands in Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate. Tri Ultimate. Brilliant. Um... I guess this, with this magnificent view, this is where I'll cut off the video. Thank you so much for watching this episode, where we finished some more Astrarium puzzles. We closed another Fate Rift here on the uh, Storm Coast. And then we came here and found some incredible loot. Um, for example, one new staff that we wear right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next episode to be uploaded soon. Thanks for watching guys.